these junks are clearly not suitable for the road but they're still standing So despite their faded paint and rusty engines, these cars have a story to tell. But the problem is, these vehicles are poorly maintained, also bearing in mind that it might be dangerous. Even so, it's normal with people here, so I guess there is only one way to find out. This Peugeot might be in pieces, but that doesn't scare the owner. He claims it's as good as new. But that's not the case, as it can only be ignited by mechanics, let alone drive it. <laughs> For someone with a broken windscreen, he sure seems unbothered. If you're wondering why it's still on the road, well, this is Africa. If the traffic police have no problem, then why not? By the looks of it, the car has traveled for nearly 5 million kilometers in terms of mileage though. If you thought that was cool, I got news for you. It's about to get a whole lot cooler. For the next car, we may consider it the truck of the century. I guess even the truck itself is shocked that it's still running. Woo! Everything is done manually in this truck, from adding water to changing the gears. This Rex seems fit for the dump site. However, this is not the case for this man. Could these scraps cause danger? And speaking of danger, let's look at the world's most unworthy car that's found in Madagascar. The ugly frame should not scare you. Due to the poor roads and constant breakdown of the cars, the drivers here are always around the mechanics. With no resources available, the braking parts are joined with open air straps. But just as they're about to set off again, the assistants create a makeshift tank with this plastic bottle. Problem after problem is their daily life. From doors being held together by ropes, the patched suspensions, the tires breaking meter by meter, the list just keeps on growing, since the brake isn't working. The companions have to help him by using rocks to slow down the truck. It's like something straight out of the gods must be crazy movie.
Take a look at this. Here in Africa, it's only survival for the best. They live for the danger. Complications begin even before the engine starts running. But in the air clean so that the can heat fast for the start in the machine. But that is nothing. That was 1976, that's when my grandfather bought this. Everyone knows. The order appears to be a simple assignment, only 30 kilometers away. But with this kind of truck, it seems so far away. <laughs> like a thousand kilometers away. This truck is nicknamed the Iron Lady and it's the least environmentally friendly vehicle but they really don't care about it. Two people are required in order to drive this truck. The co-pilot acts as the eyes and ears for the driver due to his weak eyesight. Apart from guiding him, the co-pilot has to maintain control of the gear stick the entire time or it automatically returns to neutral. The coordination needed here is next level. Apart from the logo, everything else is unrecognizable. Bedford products. Ford local yeah. But Bedford. Ah, oh nice. Ah. As in Lenny. Well, do you think that some might uh, be taking it too far? I shall read that. Ah, oh, Jamilo Joe, when you play with God, all things is possible. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, this is Africa Leo. Um, also, uh, consider subscribing for more amazing content from Africa. Yeah, and uh, click on the next video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Check, but one in you, I got very cool. I don't know why. Eh, it was only a way that I look on. I manage it. I manage it. I manage it.